channel I hope you've been all well in today's video I'm going to be unboxing some of the items I bought also just to guys let you know I've um, wiped down all the parcels before opening them just in case because you never so so just a little disclaimer to know I've cleaned it before opening them hey guys I just did a whole recording of the beauty bay order and then my phone decided that the recording failed so I'm filming on my brother's phone so here we go again so i'm just gonna redo the beauty bay um packaging again even though it's like half opened so here we have the beauty bay packaging which i was showing earlier doesn't that look pretty that looks actually so nice it's really pretty so yeah but it was really strange like why why this though i don't understand why is it because like you're meant to oh, 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 oh. what the hell is it because you're meant to take a picture of this thing here like i don't understand so first we have a primer i used to use a primer then it ran out and then i never bothered to buy it again so I thought since I'm buying it, let me go back. So this apparently helps to keep your foundation in one place. So I got that one. Ooh, I do really feel like an influencer, you know, promoting a sponsored brand, even though this is not sponsored at all. Um, so that's the fluid primer. Second, we have the Cover FX which is a setting spray. My setting spray ran out, so I needed to get some. So I thought I'll get the setting spray. We've got another Cover FX product. And this is the color corrector um, in the color orange red. It's like an orangey red. And this works really well for like um, pigmentation. So you put it on like your and pigmented areas and it helps to sort of even out your skin tone so this is good for those sort of blemishes and whatnot and I only get my colour corrector from Cover FX it's the only one that seems to be quite good um, I don't really like the powdery one so this is the stick one I got from that I was really feeling myself so I got another lipstick from them um, apparently in the shade um, French toast. I can't even remember what the shade looks like, so it'll be interesting when I like actually open it up and see. So yeah. And then surprise, surprise, we've got another Cover FX product, which is a setting powder. I do not know why I have setting powder and setting spray. I haven't even used setting powder before, so clearly I was feeling a little experimental. So yeah, I'll figure out what the use of this is. Um, usually I just use the setting powder, uh, setting spray, but I'll see whether this is any better. I kind of forgot the reason why I got this, I probably just want. I don't have this. So I might as well just buy it and see how it goes, so ta -da. And our second last product is a concealer. I do not wear concealer at the moment, so I thought it's time for me to conceal. Um, yeah, but a lot of these products, I still have to figure out what, how to use them and when to use them. Um, so that's gonna be fun. But yeah, I did a little research, you know, what I need and what pattern. And concealer was one of the things you need, like under your eyes. Apparently. Right now, they probably don't look that great. So with the concealer, hopefully. I will be beaming so here it is and our last product is some highlighter my highlighter is literally the worst thing on earth like it just needs to go it just needs to go my highlighter was bought in Poundland I'm still using the same one like I'm sure it's got some sort of expiry date so it just had to be thrown now I've just been using the same one since so I thought it's time for me to get it's time for me to get a new highlighter, so yeah. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Mm. I don't know if this hand is helping, but mm. that 
is that. Yeah, those are all the purchases I got from Beauty Bay. And we have our final package, which is from John Lewis. This makes me feel really posh, but I'm really not. I literally never buy from John Lewis. Again, quarantine is turning me into a different person. Um, yeah. I think I know what I got from this because I only want one item. So yeah. So let's crack in. Don't you guys love the sound of a um, bubble wrap? Literally the best sound ever. Anyway, the purchase I got from John Lewis was a makeup holder for my makeup things. Um, I've got a little makeup section here, which is kind of um, a little bit of a mess. So I thought I needed something to sort of um, you know, organize everything. So I got this. And yeah, ooh. That looks I was scared it would be too small. Oh, and you can take that out as well. So that's what it looks like. And it's got a little like department where you can put so yeah, well, I'm happy with this purchase. Um, I was so excited for this to come and then like I hadn't opened it for like three weeks so I've just been sitting downstairs for ages. But yeah, here it is. Aww. Let me know what you've been doing with your quarantine free time. Um, hopefully not as much online shopping as I have, even though it has kind of calmed down a little bit. So we'll see if there'll be another unboxing video coming soon. I know my Lush order is on its way and um, I bought some shampoo so I can't wait for that to arrive because right now I'm not using the shampoo I usually use and it's really not working with my hair at the moment. Anyway, I am a rambling. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Until later, bye!